Yo, what's up, YouTube? Here again for another video for y'all. Now, today, I'm going to give y'all a bit of advice because I know in 2020, people are more, like, sick conscious than ever before. And I don't want to jinx myself and say that I haven't been sick since March of 2020, but I haven't been sick since March of 2020. So it's been almost a full calendar year since I got sick, and that's what made me come up with this idea to make a video for y'all. Now I'm gonna leave timestamps of each topic or idea I go over in the description so y'all can just kind of go to which part of the video that y'all want. But I recommend y'all watch the entire video because y'all can do all of these at home to boost your immune system and better you guys life. I haven't got sick in one year. Let's see if y'all can have the same outcome. Now I'm not a health professional and some of these topics that I discuss are backed up by research, but these are just what I do personally to boost my immune system and prevent myself from increasing the likelihood that I get sick. So do not try to tell me, oh, where the fuck is your, your evidence? Where's your statistics? Where's your fucking bro? I'm telling you what the fuck I do. All right. What the fuck I do to boost my immune system so y'all just watch the video enjoy y'all let me know your thoughts on the matter let's go number one working out i try to work out on a daily basis and i just believe that you having a routine of working and developing your body can boost your immune system because it's causing your body to be more active and in overdrive as far as like how you are internally and externally so i believe that working out can definitely benefit you if you do it on a consistent basis and will help prevent you from getting sick to an extent now you can't just work out and just expect yourself to not get sick that's not how that works but if you combine working out with all the other things that i add on this list it will definitely benefit you and likely reduce the chances of you becoming sick number two taking vitamin supplements so i take vitamins every day and what i want to start doing is i want to start having a large variety of dietary or vitamin supplements so then that way i can get all of the needed and necessary daily nutrients that is required vitamins can easily keep your immune system in check and make sure that it's focused and balanced because sometimes we'll have a lack of certain things and that might boost the likelihood that one of us gets sick so taking vitamins can definitely positively impact your immune system if you take them on a daily basis number three drinking the right liquids so what i typically drink is just water that's it just water i don't drink soda and i rarely drink juice at all because it has too much sugar and has too much artificial flavor now whenever i'm starting to feel like I'm coming under the weather. Like I did this twice since March. I think it was one time in August where I felt like I was starting to get sick. And it was one time in December towards like the middle of the month. What I did was I drank kombucha. Kombucha is really good for your immune system. And I had a sore throat back in August. It completely went away after drinking an entire bottle of kombucha. Now, it might not be the best tasting thing, but it's certainly good for you and your health. You have to be cognizant on the type of liquids you're putting into your body. If all you're doing is just drinking soda, all this high sugar juice, drinking alcohol and stuff like that, that's not going to benefit your immune system. In fact, it's actually going to weaken it. If you want to be stronger, immune-wise, water is all you need and healthy type of drinks. Now you can drink sports drinks like Gatorade and Powerade, but not often. Try to keep that on the minimum because those type of drinks do have a lot of sugar in them. But like, so even with the benefit of what sports drinks have, they do come with sugar. So you gotta be careful of consistently drinking that type of stuff. Fruit juices, and what I mean by fruit juices is natural like fruits that's in the drinks. For example, Boathouse Farms, they got a lot of uh, fruit and vegetable pressed drinks that you can drink. I think that that stuff is perfectly fine. 
but just be aware of the type of drink that you're putting into your body because you're probably damaging your liver even though you don't know it but so this is a couple days later and i'm editing now look at this this is bolt house farm you see a little protein drink if you look to the side as we and so on this is good protein right here this is what i usually drink whenever i want protein but these are the fruit drinks i'm talking about this is just a quick example of different types of natural fruits that you can get pressed see this all that good shit man this is what you need man this is gonna get you right i swear to god and look at the amount of sugars 24 grams might think that's a lot but in comparison to a lot of other stuff that they're trying to serve us that's one of the best things you can get and these are natural sugars 100 percent natural sugars so yeah there we go also you can't forget the amount of vitamins that you can find in these you got the potassium the iron vitamin c the calcium this is the type of stuff y'all need to be drinking do not stay away from soda stay away from soda stay away from all them sugary drinks bro that shit is not good for you it would just help regulate your likelihood of getting sick just a little bit more if you're aware of the type of drink that you're putting into your body number four going outside and getting fresh air so this is very important because we're still well are we technically quarantined anymore i feel like people don't even care anymore but since a lot of us are spending more time in the house we tend to get stuck in this environment where we just collect and build dirt and bacteria and all of that bad stuff it's important for you to get outside and get you some fresh air because it's probably more clean outside of the house than in your house if you, especially if you don't clean your house on a daily basis getting fresh air is very important because it can cleanse your body and your lungs it'll just provide more benefits for you overall i try to go outside on a daily basis get some fresh air get you some sun it really does help i promise you going outside is also shown to positively benefit and impact your mood so the more you go outside the more you surround yourself by nature the better you feel overall and the more calm and relaxed your mental state is number five healthy eating so i wouldn't say i'm the best at eating healthy but what i often do is i tend to avoid the things that i know for a hundred percent a thousand percent is not good for you so for that being the fact i avoid soda i avoid candy of all types i do not eat candy at all anymore because i just know that it's not good for me it's important for you to try to reduce the amount of sugar that you intake because sugar can actually be addictive and a lot of things that contain sugar has also been connected to foods that are not healthy for you and because we consume large amounts of sugar we often tend to gain weight and when you gain weight you are more susceptible to becoming sick or falling into bad habits. So that's why it's good to avoid sugar altogether. There's practices called sugar fasting. Sugar fasting has come with a lot of positive benefits that I cannot name from the top of my head, but I can certainly link a video down in the description if you guys are interested in reducing the amount of sugar intake for yourself. And this, I promise you, will definitely help reduce your immune system I think that people should focus more on eating fruits and vegetables and just healthy eating in general because the better that you eat, the better that you feel internally and externally, it affects your personality, it affects your energy, how you treat people, like the mindset that you have when you wake up in the morning. And people might think that this sounds crazy because food can't do that. I promise you, it can. So. Make sure you're eating the right things, man. Number six, getting enough sleep. Getting enough sleep is important because if you don't, it'll cause your body to work way more harder than it needs to. Getting the proper sleep allows your body to rest and restore itself. So if you're only hitting five hours of sleep a week, little by little, you are tearing down 
your body's ability to competently fight against things that can harm you, whether it's things that affect your immune system or just your energy and focus and awareness in your life in general. So getting sleep is very important and this is why sleep is so pressing and important because if you don't get enough sleep, then you just tend to decline mentally as far as you being able to function in day-to-day activity. Number seven, managing stress. Being stressed can definitely kill you and it can definitely cause your immune system to weaken. Managing stress can definitely impact your health in a positive way. Just based on the fact that the less you stress about things, the more you can be focused on building yourself up. Stress can cause wear and tear on your body over a long period of time. And studies have shown that stress can actually kill you if not managed properly. You do not want to cause your body to go into overdrive due to the fact that you're stressed. And this can cause strain on the body physically, mentally, emotionally, and internally. So it's important for you to manage stress on a day-to-day basis. If you have a relaxed mind, you have a relaxed body. So try to manage your stress in the best way that you can. Now, to wrap up this video, I am not a health expert. This is what I do personally to help boost my immune system and to make me less susceptible to being sick. Now, if you have any thoughts, comments, concerns, or opinions, y'all can share them down in the comments and just let me know what you think about the video. So, yeah, we're going to close this out. Y'all press that like button. Y'all subscribe. Y'all remember me, and I'm going to holler at y'all in the next video. Kai Savage, stay true. 10 toes, 100.